blessed love each and every one once more this is Don Sinclair reggae vibes of course elevating reggae sound system culture to the highest of heights this evening I have two of my sisters here and we're gonna have a great discussion all about women in reggae of course to be a female at the top of any business is not easy and especially as reggae music is a traditionally male dominated industry i've got two sisters here who have risen to the top of their game so welcome first of all Madhuman, Madhuman, Sandra Gobblebox. Sandra, Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome to Dan Sinclair Reggae Vibes. Good evening Dan Sinclair. Just tell the people all about your platform and what it is you do. Well my platform is, um, I'm an entertainer. I um, used to be on Gobblebox, a TV show on Channel 4 for six years. But um, it has left me a big platform. So now I do a lot of entertaining, i.e. I do a lot of celebrity work, meet and greet, a lot of charity work, and um, I'll be able to sing along. Right. Anything else you want to add to that? <laughs> I, need to, yeah. I think that's about it for now. <laughs> and over to another man, <laughs> man. <laughs> Mr. Happy and Maddox Rob. Really? Well, we there. But guess what? There's always a method to the madness. So, on my which hand is now? My left hand side. No one other than Lady Smurf from Bakayad. Greetings, Lady Smurf. Welcome, as always, to Dan Sinclair Reggae Vibes. Just tell the people all about your platform and what it is you do. Well, our platform is really about people. And it's, that's why it's called the Bakayad, because everyone's in their Bakayad, in their yard, watching me on the 17 screen TV. Yeah. And we look at local people, local black business, mm. DJs, legends, sound systems, because mm. I work with sound systems. So our platform is really about everyday life. Mm. Amen. And, and especially in the reggae industry, mm. in the UK talent artists that we've got. And it's been great working in collaboration with the Shining Star. Shining Star. Gogglebox Box family. Oh, my Amen. God. And of course, Soon to be Don Kirk simply in the back of yard. Amen. So we're, we're kind of kind of coming together as a, yeah. as a, and a one unity. And I'm hoping that us lot, we can bring something together. We something are big for, for the real people. Big things so we I can't can do with, do do with divas no more. No, no, no. We're not like that. We're not unnatural things. So where can people see Sandra's channel for? Where can people see your platform? Well, they can see me on YouTube, and it's called The Back of Yard Show. Mm -hmm. They can get me on Instagram, The Back of Yard Show. Mm -hmm. But Facebook is going to be my real name, so you'll have to catch me or DM me somewhere along the line. To get oh. the real name. The real Lady name Smurf. is Lady Smurf, yes. Yeah. I tell you, so well, she well, wait, 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 no. One. Um, I'm not on Google Box. I have my own show called The Sandra Martin Show. Tell them, Sandra. Which I'm on 8 a.m., mm -hmm. 1 p.m., mm -hmm. 5 p.m., mm -hmm. and 8 p.m. She's not asleep every no. day. Round the clock. Yes. Oh, she's on so entertaining right. the world. And at the back of the yard show, should I tell you? Oh. It's on every Wednesday from 8.30 to 10.30. Mm -hmm. Alternate Wednesdays. One is the bottom of the show. Wait, wait there. You said about Mm-hmm. And the other one is the business and art is support evening where next week Wednesday we've got our guest, Sandra Gogglebox, who's gonna talk about her own platform and she's a black business. So we're gonna talk about her podcast. Yeah. Last Wednesday. Oh yes! So we're looking forward to When you use the celebrity. celebrity. Uh, so no, no, let me tell you about my plan. Yeah, well, how does it matter? Oh, yeah. Come on, everybody got a beautiful shining star. Oh my god! Shining Stars is the platform of the CEO of Shining Stars. We've been going for six years now and um, we have about 18 artists within the camp. Mm -hmm. We have our record label, we have our website, we have our TV show, which is on Sky Television, Channel 7, which is Sky Television 182. We're on every Saturday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. And as I said, so we have our artists, events, promotions, record label, website, and we interview artists, we put on stage shows and events, and of course, we have a big presence within the reggae industry alongside the Backyard family, Gogglebox, and of course, Dancing Clear Reggae Vibe! <laughs> <laughs> so, as I, as I said at the beginning, you know, as women within this industry, it's not an easy road. 
And you know, as women, we have sometimes a two-edged sword to deal with to advance ourselves or our companies. But we have fun as well. We along the way. Loads of fun. We have fun along the way. Now, Sandra, can you tell me a memorable, a memorable, memorable dance or sound class or just something that sticks in your memory? Because I know you're well, a place in the community. Well. The only thing I remember back in the 70s when wow. I used to follow so, um, Lord David said. Alright. All right. And I used to carry box. What? Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. What for sound girl? And I've always been a sound girl and I, I grew up. <laughs> anyway, you're not going up yet. I, I, I got a lot for the sound industry. <laughs> Well, that's good. I'm a bit shy. It's not shy. So much has happened. Small, like, say, 70s. I've been Small there. Yeah. Shubin. True. Lot like of Shubin. Where it was one pound to go in. But it's been, it's now it's about 20 quid now. I was asked to have a cop I'm Lord Davies. And boxes and the sound. And that like, was like, when I say how tough it is, I mean, mm -hmm. pray God I didn't get raped. Because that, 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 that's not right. No, we never. When you talk, talk, when you fall in the sand, yes. you have to actually. Yeah. I will if I end up in the back of the boat. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, then they don't tell me. I was a tomboy. I had to be tomboy hard that night. I was tomboy. I had to be afraid to fight me or baby. Yeah. So do you have a good memory from sound system? I I tell you, one of the ones was with with sax in And I was standing there with Matty Creed. Right. Okay. I was about 17. Mm. We all started, I'm going to show you. We all started in the set. We were doing this in the middle of mm. Deptford. Mm. And everyone, yeah. and Philip Lee would leave, I'd drop a tune, and everyone went back in the place. Mm. Because you know you can chat. He's one of the best MCs. What tell you, ladies and gentlemen? Philip Lee is one of the best mm. MCs mm. this country has produced. Definitely. And it hasn't had that, the proper mm. accolade that. Well, just like Johnny Orlando, mm. you know I'm not. But he hasn't the proper accolade. So not to say, I think that was one of the best. Papa Levi. Papa Levi. Yeah, right? yeah man. One yeah. of the fastest. Well, because we were great stuff. That was one of my guys' memories in, in the middle of Deptford. Yeah. Listening to Saxon sounds in the house party. Okay. With the Max and, and men. And all the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. he was kids. Well, you know, the good thing with Papa Levi and those fast talkers, we was able from UK to actually influence Jamaican artists, mm. which is normally the other way around. We normally take inspiration from Jamaica That's and pirate right. that sound. But for me personally, I'm coming from Taurus Eye Power. Taurus! Taurus. Taurus. Nasty love! No! Okay. 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 I understand it. Yes. Nice. Now, I mean, I've done so much sound system classes for Dance Sinclair Reggae Vibes. And we love the sound system and we love the energy because that is something that, um, because it's such a male dominated um, mm, industry. industry yeah. when, it is. When, when we're doing the sound clash, you know, there might be 30, 40 men on the stage, and me, well, as a woman, just uh, MC the thing and I uh, run the thing. Because I began to MC back in the day. Not back That's in the day. That's what you're doing now. No, but now, but it's all. But don't forget. Okay. In, in relation to what I yes. said, so oh. there's plenty of time yeah. that I've been making. Yes. As a DJ or part of the set, mm. and I'm the only brass oh, drum in the band. I'm sure I would have. I, I like it enough. I'm I'm sorry, I like it in my But I'm animated. But I would have ten men, men around me. Mm. Me one with the man there. I'm thinking love. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and, and you know what? The worst thing about it is that you have to earn their respect. Yeah. 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 There's no sense being around ten mm. men if, if, if you're going to get abused. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been on a few, a few shows where you can't sing. That someone said you can't sing Queen Bee. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, it's it's a different element as a woman because mm. you know we we have on one hand we have um, we're in a situation of power. Yeah. Because you know we're able to book artists, create events, create opportunities for artists Which and for do. people. But then. In, on the other hand, we also have to sometimes put our heads above the water a little bit more just to be taken seriously, just to be acknowledged within the industry because we are women. Because sometimes what they will hear from a man, they won't necessarily take from a woman. So we have to, as you said, we have to earn that position 
of respect. And it's not about holding our legs. It's not about being yeah, I mean, a certain type of way. There's, there's, there's different, there's no way we sleep, sleep around in the business. I know there's a lot of male and female who do that to try to, to, to elevate. But for me, I think as an individual, and, and, and because of my background, mm. if I find out in the male dominant world world there's blockages and barriers, Personally, I kick down the door. That's why yeah. I, do. I do not have this thing where, well, because of my past, and I don't want to be aggressive, I don't want to threaten a man there. But I refuse, I mean, I could take a no, but mm. if I could do it myself, then you're going to yes. do it. Well, I did the same thing you're with Shining Stars. Door, yes. Yeah, I did the same thing with Shining Stars. We were knocking on doors, mm. and the doors weren't open. That's right. So oh. we created our own storm. We created our own um, noise I mean, to make the industry um, come towards. I would like to say something about reggae music. But that's what you've done, you know. What's that? Well, creating your own. I have, I have. have. Because you've had blockages. Yeah, I've had loads of blockages. Door shutting on you. But can I say something about reggae music? Of course you can. Regarding to Don. Don Sinclair. Focus on the conversation. Yeah? Um, um, you see the reggae? music that's going on right now. Mm. I don't really entertain it. I'm black up. No, if I go somewhere and I've got people that will say, what do you want to hear? I'm sorry, I have to go old school. I go back Gregory Isaac, Dennis Brown, John Hall. I can't relate to, no, but I personally, up to now, cannot relate to certain reggae music that's going on now. For what the, type of reggae music? No, I'm, it's, it's for the young generation. Mm where you've got to skin out and brock mm. out mm. and do certain dances. But, 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 but I'm not, was around no, no, I, I don't even, personally, well, yeah, no, personally, no, thank you, lad. No, mm. I know that music is there, mm -hmm. but here what? When I go up, me personally, I can sit down, I don't want to hear them tune. I want to hear Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, I want to go back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, but, I can't do uh, the... Um, uh, but I've got to challenge you a little bit. Yeah. And, and Anderson must go really, really Yeah. Currently, what's the two years, four years? I like old well, school. Well, the last three, four years, all of them is banging. And I've got to say, the Man. UK reggae artists... That's right, that's what I was just about to say. The UK mm. reggae artists are not just like, oh, which bit of music? My mm. ears, when I... Go on. If I hear a tune, I think, oh, that, that could be a number one. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter who the artist is, because I don't go for name brand artist. Oh, because could be the could no. be, be the man wrote it. It's no, the no, don't go that. No, it has to be about what's got the hook. No, but let me finish. Let me finish. What's got the hook? And I'm, all I've noticed the UK are yeah, and we're talking about from Chucky Banton to yes, Jehovah yeah. to Wendy Barker to. Cindy Prince, Cindy all, yeah. the, all these and artists it. slowly and a lot, lot of them are not mm. demons or give it up like they're big. Yeah. Mm. And all of these artists have produced a lot of quality. Very that is very good. Cool. Yeah, and our problem is, Sandra. Mm. That's now, good. Our problem like in a regular fraternity outside mm. of um, platforms like Don Sinclair, mm. Shiny Stars, even yours and mine, yeah. are not actually elevating these guys. Who are what, and ladies who are what you've heard the tunes of mine. I'm not and you're saying like, no, no, you're not tuning them at her. Yeah, but you're dancing. No, because no. Do you hear what I'm saying? You're, no, you're, no, not, no, listen, I'm working with you're not listening. Fine, hear what I'm man. saying? Yeah, I, I, I hear all the tunes yeah. that's going on in the world. Mm. I'm just saying to you, I am old fashioned. Mm. Yeah, but the right, new I'm saying to you now. No, 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 I'm saying to you, in my life today, like when I had my 60th birthday party, the 5th of February, I've been playing the truth I want to hear. What I'm saying, I hear what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm just used to what you I like want to hear. Like. That's all. You like what you but like. I love what's mm -hmm. going on in the world. Mm -hmm. I respect that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, well, I, I'm, I'm just things. saying where my brain's going. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the only one. But that big people. Big right, people in, music. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, right? right? Not only me. All right, mm -hmm. I'm 60 soon, yeah? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. What I'm saying to you? Pa our parents, mm -hmm. that's 80, and, it, that's 70 mm -hmm. to 80 and to 90 now, they're not going to hear what you are taught. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. They're going to want to hear what I want to hear. All I'm saying, I hear what's going on. But what we must do now, I, well, I love the new thing, you know? Yeah. But I just like a bit of just. 
Why not? But we must remember though is that there's nothing new no. under the sun. And yes, ma'am. The things that our parents used to um, score on that and yeah. Yeah, we are now scoring with our own children. Yeah. And the cycle That's continues. True. Hold on a second. So yeah. let me just set my point, yeah. right? So what I'm saying to you is because there's nothing new under the sun, but what has changed is that women have now become Leaders. game players. You understand? Yeah. And Key, um, key players and key figures within the industry. So, um, what would you say moving forward? Because there's a market for everything. Okay. You like big people music. Yes, that's fine. That's there's mine. a market for you. Thank you, man. There's a market for the grind. <laughs> there's a market for the upfront. Thank there's a market you. for the ragga, the yeah. dancehall, the roots and culture. You understand the revival, the sound systems. There's a market. For, for all of that, yeah. but, but the beauty of it now is that we have more women representing on each of these. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I've got mm. to tell to interject. It's only yeah. the last mm. since 2017, mm. maybe 2015, Five 16, years. that we've seen an upsurge mm. of female women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right there, mm. coming out. Never been mm. in sounds. All of them are locked. Mm. Some of them are locked on a laptop. Mm. They've never actually ever. Grown from the south. Some of them have. 15, 16, 17. No, no, they're not. Some of them are few. But yes. what I'm saying, some of the new ones. Lunar G. Lunar G. Monkey Bears. All of them have mm. come. Digital D. All of mm. these lot, of, all these female mm. that I grew up with has mm. come from Sam. Barnet Wonder, the best of the best of the best. Barnet Wonder is one of my role models. Lady G was one of my role models. Crystal Rose was one of our role models. Yeah. Because these people were the ones who were emulating. And in the front of the camera, for mm. us to say, how do we get that confidence? Well, so, so even though I do what I'm doing and Anderson, mm. we still had other people that we're leaning, we're jumping off the back of. We are standing on the shoulders of those who came before us before as well, us. you know. And as you're calling certain names, you know, we have to say a big respect on that to the ranking Miss P. You understand? Yeah, She's yes. a found, you don't know ranking Miss P? Miss P. Ranking Miss P is one of the foundation women. She's um, Rita Marley's sister and oh. she pushed reggae music in the UK. She was one of the female pioneers alongside Bionic Rona right, as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But even Lady G, even that people like to have, uh, talk Lady about, about her, about her, about whatever she does. But even Lady G as a female DJ, I've got to be honest. No, she's really. not a pioneer because there was about four or five before no, her. I, I, know there I was, was on Power Jam yeah, yeah, listen, listen, way back listen, long listen, before listen, Lady listen, G come listen, on back. Listen, listen, I've got a fight. I've got a fight. Even that has I've got a fight. 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 i Renowned, everyone had heard about it. Initially from she, London. She used yeah. to be on power, she used to work with Cabbage. She wasn't on power, she was on power. She went to work. Yeah. yeah, she was on fires, but she was recognised mm -hmm. as a female yeah. DJ. Because mm -hmm. it's very hard, you know. Mm -hmm. Why don't have people say, oh, I've and heard of Lady C and Brenda C. And Brenda C. Yeah. So, yeah. But and what was that? Are these all from London? Yeah. yeah, but what I'm saying, the difficulty in this world is, is that even though we make a female DJ, the male DJs will still get the notoriety in high standard because of, I don't know, I don't know if it's female accolade or they, they monopolise because I do know there's DJs in the city. So the DJ I know is um, Alison. Wait a minute. 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 Let me finish. Sorry. Finish. They monopolise the, oh. monopolize the <laughs> DJ circle. Oh. Mm. So it's very difficult if you're trying to get to as a new DJ, upcoming DJ, male or female, but you've got certain DJs who's constantly, constantly, constantly on the circuit because they've now monopolized the promoters that they have to go through. That's I find this out. So that's why it's hard for female DJs because the male, some, some of the male DJs have a little contract with promoters to book them first. And it's not only that as well, you know, there's a lot of cliquey elements towards, you know, like cliquey elements towards the business where, click, you know, click. like you have certain some and I'm not going to call their names, but no. on a certain dance, the back of your show wouldn't call their names, you will have, you will have, well this is that, their food, your show wouldn't call their names, so on certain, um, don't on certain, don't don't certain don't clear, ladies, calm down. <laughs> on certain shows you will only see certain DJs on the bill, That's and right. it's the same on rotation, same on so same on. this is where as females we have to break down those doors, now I'm coming from way back in the day from 
Power Jam I'm radio. Really DJ. So you I'm a presenter. I know you when are. I began on Power Jam, Sugar oh. Jack was the DJ and I used to speak. Another you understand me? Another jet. I'm sure you're there. 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 i am sure you are there 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 i He's, oh. he's invited me to host so many sound oh, clashes. Now, sound clashes, and so he's put me one on there, one on there, one on there. He has put me in an arena that is male dominated, Very and he's put me as a woman in charge. You understand? Because fifth, 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 I'm the one fifth, fifth, who's fifth, doing not to, to do the show. Yeah, to do the, the whole clashes, show. To host the control clashes. Is, control and, it. and I'm telling you, it's a different oh. element because. I see, I see in the sound men's space when I'm coming up on the stage, they don't, they might not say, okay, where is she going, what is she doing? Well, but well, once I done. take the mic and the clash kicks up, they can see that I know what I'm doing. I was at the last but, but I still have to not prove myself in a sense, but I have to step up and I have to be ready. You understand? And I have to be, you know, you have to gear up yourself because it's a. Uh, well, let us just be honest here, as, as, as with it. Mm. When you are in a male dominant arena, boy, my chest kind of changed from being a bar to a hairy chest. <laughs> no disrespect, but I stand up kind of strong. You have to. I let the man say, no, hey, what? A lad, any disrespect you know you're going to get. <laughs> so it's like they kind of know before I've even got on the mic, or you know when you're getting ready to, to flip on the turntable. Mm -hmm. You have to let the man know. I'm coming around behind the set, I don't want no foolishness. And I don't need no man to hold my weapon sleeve because that's what they do to put you off your so, so, so all I'm saying, oh, sorry. as a female industry, industry, it's not that you want to be a man or pretend to be a man or try and go, you know, you get older, you don't want to be a tomboy at 50 or the years no. of age. But what you want no. to do is let, let the men them know say, that you are a strong Nubian, black woman, you've got maroon blood, and you don't take rubbish. That's but right. you do respect the situation. Mm -hmm. but, and that's where we are coming off. As entertainers, mm. as DJs, mm. comedians, mm. you know, and, men. And, and all we ask for at the end of the day is the equal opportunity and the respect. And the respect. I think we don't ask for any respect as well. But if we don't get it, once you earn, if we don't get it, I think you have to earn. Now, if, if we don't get it, I'm a Malcolm X and I'm taking it. You're taking so, it. Yes. So, Alison, mm. let me ask you a bit more. Taking I it. I don't really know. I know I'm here mm. on the Don. Sinclair, Sinclair, Reggae Vibes. Reggae so. vibes. Mm. Tell me a little bit more about him. About that A little bit, like, right. you know. Yeah. I'll tell you what, thank I'm you very much. much. I'm trying to get him for an interview. He's not even Thank you. Know, thank you. No, 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 I'm working on it. Wait, he's not going to say No, I'm not going to take no. He's not going to Listen, I'm dreaming about this. I'm going to bet you money right now. 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 Right. That. So, as I'm here, on a little bit about him. Uh, let me tell you. We're going to get him. Let me tell you something. You, you know, a little bit about him. Because I'm not on his show. We're going to dream about him. Hello. Hey. Alison. We're going to dream about him. One minute. Mm. I'm on his show. Thank you, um, Don Sinclair. Mm. Reggae Vibes mm. has invited me here. Yes. And we've been talking all evening and we were acting that as the, the platform. Yeah. But I would like to know a little bit about him and you know him? Yeah, Tell me a little bit about him. Yeah, yeah. You've got some up there. A good, good few years, yeah, no. And I know. I would say that. We are no man. Go Keep go quiet, go. man. No. Sit back and relax. No, no, Dan Sinclair's no, no. elements, right? let me tell you, Dan Sinclair is an innovative, forward looking man because he has. Um, taken an industry that is often ignored within reggae music because so much sound systems bus reggae artists mm. yeah before radio dj that's right before it gets to you before it gets to you or even being for television sound system, yeah. yeah sound systems bus reggae artists mm. you understand me and at the end of the day sound systems and sound system culture is often forgotten 
within the music industry because you know we're talking about radio television we're talking about artists musicians mm -hmm. but not often sound systems are remembered for the work the groundwork that they, that they actually put in now when i interviewed um coxon so lord coxon he told me you know he named so many artists mm -hmm. that has been bust by sound system before radio and he's told me about the amount of sound systems in england mm -hmm. and how much years they have been working and let's not forget the element that sound system provide of schooling, yeah. teaching, disciplining young black men predominantly. Now in the UK there's other, other races coming into sound system. But, yeah. but traditionally it's a way of schooling the young black boys and giving them direction and purpose and making them put there and channel their energies into something productive. Yes. You understand me? While oh. they're actually learning the business. Because in those days the youth had to build the box, carry the box, yeah. string up the box, yeah. pop down the box at the end of the night, in a divan and you know and it was a family vibes and these are things that Don Sinclair is trying to <laughs> make people understand that the depth of the contribution. What he's doing? No, no, what he's no, doing? no, the, what do you mean? no, the contribution, the contribution of, of the sound system, system. Yes. towards that what he's doing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now, yeah. all, all we can do is, uh, as, as platforms is to support Sandra mm -hmm. to where she's going. And the same, the same for me, for Backyard. All I want is Backyard is to grow for people who wants to build up their pro pro profile and their portfolio. So if my platform can support that, and of course, I'm going to still support black business because you know that's the least thing getting sort of that. So if my platform can bring us all up together, then I think I have achieved my task in life is supporting my community, Definitely. supporting the UK reggae artists, and supporting black business, mm. and it's supporting people in general, because I'm a community development kind of a girl. So that's what I'm glad about. Mm. But at the same time, I also need to earn a wage. Definitely. And, and so when I put on a dance, mm. it is literally just to earn a wage, mm. though I've been giving out free opportunities mm. to artists, the platforms mm. given out to, to viewers. Mm. We don't mind the community side. But we still need to remember that we need to eat Definitely. And, pay, and pay bills. So we're not malicious, mm -hmm. we're very grounded mm -hmm. and respectful. So I'm really proud to say mm -hmm. it's been great and I'm still looking forward to collaborating with Shiny Stars, Don Sinclair, Gogglebox, Sandra Gogglebox and many other people who are actually doing what we're doing. That's right, I mean it's about like-minded people. Sandra, let me put the same point over to you as well. You know. What do you see as being a turning point for you as a woman within the industry? I know coming from like a, a TV background, mm -hmm. so what would you say was the turning point for you? Um, well, this, um, there's two points for me, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of gifted with that. Um, I do like music and I do know about music before I became into the celebrity TV side mm -hmm. of things mm -hmm. and um, um, what I want to say is that music for black people and all other colours, sorry to just say it like that, you know, mm -hmm. um, reggae and so forth, mm -hmm. I like to keep it going, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of music going on and so forth, which I like old time, mm -hmm. well, I'm not really popular with um, some of the young generation music. But that's whereas like now, that's okay. hold on, mm. whereas now, all music I like, mm. but there's certain music that's out today with certain words mm. that some of them are banning now mm. that we don't, so I don't so think it should be around for the new generation. So in terms of your platform? Yeah, my terms of my platform. Mm. What platform? <laughs> no, no, but I'm I'm me, no oh. I have a very good platform now. Mm. I am. Um, I have a big platform actually, you know. Mm. Oh yes, oh yes. And what's it doing? And, um, and you see, Shining Star mm. and Baka Yard Show. Mm. I would like to join forces with my celebrity TV side of things because that's what I'm on. Mm. I'm not on the music side, mm. but I know about reggae mm. because when I'm on TV, we like to block out. On the regular mm -hmm. side of things, you can so that. so I'm gonna incorporate That's yeah good. my TV world and platform of everything I do. You know, these women are doing the black female. Yeah, yeah. So so I said that. We got this. Hear what I'm saying to you. And Judy Love. And Judy you Love. You can them all, but hear what? Pick up Judy Love, Alison Hammond, and all other black female artists or doing something. Queen Mojo. Plus size modeling, which I'll be doing soon, big and you know, fluffy. fluffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the main thing I want to say mm. is that Shining Star, Alison Mason, which I know, and before me, Tom Celebrity, oh, oh, she was there, and that goes with back a yard. Mm. So before I became who I am now, they were there. And now I'm, I'm driving horses now. I mean, look at three of us now. <laughs> look, well, how, me, look how beautiful we look. Can yeah. we pose for the pose? Well, for me personally, <laughs> ladies. Thank you very much. Say, for me personally, <laughs> what I really Excited. enjoy, what I really enjoy, yeah. is giving up and coming artists yeah. opportunities. You know how much people have come to me and said, "You know what, Alison? Thanks for calling me for the Shining Star Show. Yeah, it's the first time I've worked with a band." I've given people Ooh. a lot of first opportunities. Yeah, man. You know, and I, and, and I like that. I really enjoy doing that, you know, letting them 
work with a band for the first time, putting them on a big stage for the first time on a recognized stage. Or, and they love or, that. Taking them People to, that have never been never had it before. 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 What? what? Taking them to Sky Television. I mean, my listenership, we got our viewing figures for um, Sky TV for the red, for the TV show that we do. Mm -hmm. And every month See? we are reaching over 500,000 people, people watching the Shining Stars so, TV show every, going on it. every single yeah. month. So to be bringing, oh, hold on a second ladies, please. Sorry. So Sorry, to be bringing on young up and coming artists yes. and giving them such a big worldwide platform, not just Sky TV, Vision TV, One Hub Television, Freeview Television and Global OTT as well. So to be giving them such a worldwide platform, to me, that's something that we're very proud of at Shining Stars because it's about putting back. And we've worked with so many artists, established as well as up and coming, and given them quality platforms. And I think that's one thing with us now, as being um, a woman within the industry, what I found now, because the reputation has followed us, doing oh. our events and doing our promotions, when I call an artist now, to do a Shining Stars event, it's never a problem. It's never a problem. In fact, I believe, I believe. They're phoning me to say, can, can I come, come on? on? Can I, you know, so that's a big change that I've seen within the industry. You know, I yeah. noticed that, because I remember last year, I've got two things. Last year, I just said to city. Being a smurf. You got to talk about that. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm just doing the same thing. But mm. I tell you when it really made sense what you said. When I was being up the artist for our couple of years anniversary, no. I didn't have no problem. Mm. Everyone said yes, mm. put put this up. No, for, mm. Normally you're begging you. Mm. You're, you're scratching the door. It's you know, show. you know when it would change when it's time. Hey, you know what? You know, you know, that's what we realised. Yeah. That's what we realised that, that, that the artists that we've been working with for the Come on, you know, we're out right there. Um, and now kind of say, yeah, mm. we don't have to do what like, like we used to do mm. as a female or mothers or, mm. or somebody who's established. We don't have to do that no more. They're actually asking to. I've, I've had people leave me, well, can I come on your bill on the Saturday night? And I said, no, it's too late, mate. You, you need to be on the platform. Yeah, but like, if I was reading you, I'm telling you that we're like, artist. Artists ringing us up, wait a minute. We've had artists ringing Alison and myself, because Alison is really the lead. So I'm just, but I've had people now, like Alison gave me the warning last year, that I turned the corner. We need to say, can I come on your show or can I come on your your your, your anniversary way? So that meant, that tells you how much now we're getting in the space. Elevated yourself. Yeah. And that we're getting the respect mm -hmm. that we've kind of worked hard for. Yeah. But it's not like saying, if you don't give it to us, we're not going to stop. No, nothing's gonna stop. I mean, Shining Stars, definitely, we've earned our respect within the business. As I said, we created our own industry within the, within the industry right. and created our own platform until the industry took notice nice. of us. Mm. You understand me? And because of the quality that we put forward in everything, we put through quality. That is our key thing, quality in our advertising, in our promotion, in our events, everything, um, presentation, everything. So. We earned, we earned that respect. So let's 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 include other artists, artists other yeah. camps and other you know, yeah. we're not past and you are you going to be doing that next year please? Yes, January the thirteenth at the Utanani Brixton. January the thirteenth? Yeah we're gonna oh, yes. um um slow um and just I'm funny, I'm funny, I'm funny. I'm funny. Yeah, so we're gonna be launching our second rhythm on the Shining Stars record label called the Dog yeah, Fire. Thirteenth of January at the Utanani Brixton would all January. Um, also, not February. Um, August thirteenth of January. Yeah. And the 5th of February, Chucky Banton, our next artist, will be doing and that's my birthday. A, a show at Club Samoans. So, just to round off now the whole women in reggae focus, Sandra Bubblebox, just in conclusion to the whole 
you know, the whole discussion that we're having today, you know, is there anything that you've that you've seen or that you have haven't seen or you would like to see or what changes what would you just like to say in conclusion? Well just tonight mm. I do know a bit about reggae but I have learned a little bit more. That's all. So you can always learn I've more. learned a bit more and there's more to learn. And more to come from and more to come from, from your platform. From my well. platform. Yeah. Okay, it's not the same point. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll say <coughs> for me. It's about kind of reaching out to, to the female artists and DJs mm -hmm. and, and, and try to kind of implore for them to stand up and not be kind of uh, dominated mm -hmm. by the male by our male counterparts instead of, you know, oh, stop licking, licking, that's what I'm really saying. I'm, so I'm looking for my female DJs, mm -hmm. um, female artists to say, listen, you don't need to sell your soul to achieve. True. Please, please stand up for your own individual self True. as a woman mm -hmm. and don't sleep around mm -hmm. or don't support male, 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 male colleagues mm -hmm. because you feel intimidated. Mm -hmm. Stand up for what you believe as a female artist, as a female DJ, mm -hmm. as a female in a whole. Mm -hmm. And I've got to say, I've got to pick up Don Sinclair because mm -hmm. I was amazed when I went to one of these gigs and he said to me, Smith, I got your show, you know, I thought, really? And I was quite surprised. If we get, was, oh, if we get people like Don Sinclair, who actually supports platforms, mm. females, mm. other artists, other mm. music, he's one of many. Mm. Yeah, there's not a lot, mm. ladies and gentlemen, not a lot, but he's one of many who tries to elevate the female mm. in the industry. Mm. And for that, I'm going to keep supporting him mm. and promoting him. Amen. And you know, just in conclusion, you know, we have to say, it's not always easy, you know, being a woman within the reggae industry. It's not always being a woman in any industry, especially a male-dominated one. But, you know, one thing with women, we are resilient, we are determined, we are diligent, we are powerful, we can multitask. And, you know, we have what it takes. We have the minerals. We have what it takes to be, to be powerful women within a male dominated industry and I would just personally just encourage any woman who would like to step into the, this industry as a promoter, as an entrepreneur, as somebody who would like to elevate the industry. I would also like to say a big up to Diana Black from Reggae Star Factor and Serling Braithwaite from Britain's Got Reggae. You know, women again within the industry doing really good and positive things, you understand? So I would just encourage women out there, you know, at the end of the day, there's nothing we can't do. Obviously there's things men do better or can do because of physicality, strength and things like that. But when it comes on to organization, administration, yeah. execution, you Delivery. know, women, we we can do it. And you know, Sandra Gogglebox, Lady Smurf and Alison Mason from Shining Stars, we are living proof that we can do it. So dancing care, okay, we done we all. respect each and every time. We are so girls, girls. Alison Mason representing Don Sinclair, Shining Stars. Go to the box. Back here, I'm the...